ni ajab sana na wewe ni mrembo sana swahili bankuche ela ayan somalian ogamba chi mrembo ugandan badass bitch english i'm telling you in four f***ing different languages how fabulous and badass bitch i am it looks natural it's so stunning i love it i thought you had a nose job actually Wait, from my village you think i can afford a nose job we don't even have do doctors in our village <laughs> came in later. <laughs> that should be every dinner, Frank. Not just bachelorette. I agree. <laughs> the guy that danced with you was so hot. One of them came up to me. Wow. We, we were out at sea, so there was no way. Why are we talking about something I wasn't part of? Can we move on and talk about something I'm part of? Thank you. Of course, you but if I wasn't part of it, I don't want to know want about to it. Let's <laughs> cleanse the energy, ladies. Nothing's going to okay, cleanse this energy. I can't bear energy. this woman. Oh, you can't. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. This is Sami Sam P. Today, we're going to talk about the last half of Dubai. I just finished washing, and I just want to talk about the fabulousity that is Ayan. I think that Ayan is going to bring it into this group. First episode started with her. She came with a bang. She's funny. She's confident. She's beautiful and she might be rich. I expect her to be rich because this show is telling us that this is going to be about rich and the famous of Dubai. Well, at least the rich, even if they're not famous, but I'm pretty sure they will be becoming famous very soon if this shows work. Um, Ayan is, I mean, she's the main protagonist here. Like she's the main protagonist, you know, she came in with a bang. I must say, I like the group. I like the fact that there is people from different ethnicity. We have three black women. We have two Middle Eastern ladies and we have one white lady. I think she's British or maybe she's American. I'm not sure if I remember, but I think that it's a group group. It's a good group. I like the fact that they are all coming from different ethnicity and even the black women. There's one African woman, one Jamaican woman and one woman from you know african-american so i like the fact that there's really a little bit of everything in there you know if you just put someone from asia you're good to go some of them are really opinionated and, and caroline b like the other african-american lady the african-american lady they seems like their frenemy she comes with her own personality so we can see here that the storyline is there and then we have the other caroline which is the white lady she don't play either like the way she put ayan back and told her she don't really like her like that I was like okay girl she don't play she don't play so it's definitely going to be interesting right now ayan to me is the belle of the ball she's the one that i'm expecting to see the most of i can see this is where most of the drama is going to come from I think that she's going to be the type of lady that is like an acquired test. Either you really like her vibe or you don't. I personally like it for the show because we want people that are funny. We want people that are smart, but we also want people that can bring some type of drama, but nothing crazy when it comes to tr drama. So yeah, y'all, first episode, I liked it. I'll be watching, I'll be reviewing. Let me know what you like the most out of it. But yeah, for me, she is the bomb. Ayan is the bomb.com and she's bringing it on for the show. Let me all know what you think in the comment. And if you're new here, hey, and I invite you to, you know. And for those of you that have been supporting me, thank you all so much and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.